and welcome to Levon's Kitchen. Today in the kitchen, I'm going to do a little unboxing and I wanna to talk to you guys about some kitchen um, items that you may need. And of course, the what's in the box is a kitchen item as well, you know. Um, so, to you guys who are new to Levon's Kitchen, welcome to my kitchen. This is my kitchen. Go, You guys, make sure you go out and hit that subscribe button so that you can get all of my videos. They're usually food videos, but we talk about all kinds of things in the kitchen. So hit that notification bell as well so that you will be notified when I put a new video out. So in the meantime, let's get started. I'm excited about what's in this box. My daughter bought me this for Christmas and I'm opening it early because I wanted to do an unboxing. I already know what it is. So she gave me permission to open it early. Let's see. I love showing off what's in my kitchen. My kitchen, of course, is my favorite room in the house. So there's one big box and inside this big box, there's several small boxes. So let's get some of these small boxes out first. You know what? Hmm, let's see. It's heavy. <laughs> Let's see if we can pull it out this way. Ugh. Okay. Here's number two. And there's one more. I think it's just one more. It might be a couple more. Let's see. Ugh. Oh, Lord. Wait. Okay. Pull some of these things out. That might make it a little easier to get it out of here. It's heavy, y'all. You'll find out why it's so heavy. Whew, good Lord. I'm sweating. Okay, so we have three boxes. So let's start with number one. Let's get this out of the way. Start with box number one. So as you notice in my kitchen, everything is either black and white or silver. However, my favorite color is blue. So there's some things that I have in here like utensils and things like that, that are blue. So when you're decorating your kitchen or getting things for your kitchen, make sure it's the color you like and things like that, because if you spend as much time in your kitchen as I do, you want to definitely be comfortable in your kitchen. Okay, so, look what I got. It is a, ta-da. Oh wait, let's get the top. This is most likely the lid. And of course, it is blue. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at it, look at it. All right, you guys, hang on. Look what I got. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. That's why that box is so heavy. It's um, multiple things in here. It's a Dutch oven, look at that. Uh, let's see. This is a four quart Dutch oven. On the bottom it says four quart. So this is a four quart Dutch oven and it has a lid. So let's move this one over. Ooh, I'm hot y'all. That was work. Let's see what's in this box. Uh-oh, I think I opened this upside down. So, We've got a skillet, and it's a, of course, you know, it's the enamel bottom, but it's cast iron on the inside. I love cast iron. If you guys are intimidated by cast iron, don't be. It will last you forever, especially if you keep it cleaned, right, and maintained. And if you don't know how to maintain or clean cast iron, go out there, check out my video um, about how to clean cast iron, okay? Look at it, isn't it beautiful? 
Let's see, this one is 10 inches. This is a 10 inch skillet. But this lid from this, from the Dutch oven fits the skillet. All right, let's see what's in the big box. I love my daughter. You can tell she loves me. You see what she gave me for Christmas. <laughs> she knew that I wanted this. Oh, thank you so much, Crystal. what was in the box. <laughs> All right. And this box has two parts as well. Let me move the skillet, my scissors out of the way. So in this box is another one. Look at this, and this one is five quarts. It tells you on the bottom, five quarts, if you can see it. Oh, it's beautiful, and guess what? It has a lid as well. a whole set. It's a five piece set. Look at this. This is beautiful. So I have the five quart one with the lid. I have my 10 inch skillet that also has a lid. This lid also fits my four quart Dutch oven. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love it. So, this is something I would advise somebody to keep in their kitchen because like I said, um, cast iron will last you forever. And if you're like me, sometimes I like to display some of my items. As you, you can see behind me, I've got some um, pots and pans back there and I like to display them. Those are some Viking ones. I think I got those from Sam's Club at the time may have been uh, Amazon, but I think it was Sam's Club. This comes from Sam's Club as well. Um, let me see what the package, say, the paper says. It only has this one little paper. It says cast iron cookware is oven safe to 464 degrees. Energy, it's an energy efficient cookware. It's a porcelain enamel. That's what makes it so beautiful, the porcelain enamel, the blue part. It's a porcelain enamel cast iron cookware. Um, as cast iron distributes heat very evenly and retains heat longer than other materials, we recommend using only low to medium heat. Before you use in your new cookware, read all of the directions below, uh, remove the labels, wash it out, rinse it and dry it. With cast iron, make sure you dry it. Always dry it because water is um, dangerous for cast iron, should I say. Not when you're cooking with it, but if you just let it sit in there just like a little bit and it's just not dry, it will cause rust. So you have to maintain cast iron. And if you maintain it, it will last you forever. I have some cast iron skillets that my great grandmother gave me. So if you have cast iron, take care of it. You could pass it down, give it to your children, all of those things. Um, well, this just tells you basically what it's about. Let, let me read the cooking surfaces. It says cast iron, uh, enamel cast iron cookware can be used on all cooking services, such as in the oven, under the broiler, and on the barbecue grill. When using cast iron cookware on ceramic or glass top cooking services, avoid dragging the cookware across the surface as it can cause damage to the cooking surface. Always lift the cookware while moving it on these types of services. Yeah, if you've got a glass top stove like I do, when you have electric stoves, you don't want to... Um, drag that and you'll scratch your glass or whatever. But 
I love it. I want to thank you, Crystal. I have some other um, information out there that I'm going to give you. If I can find this in Sam's Club, I'll li leave the link down in the directions for how you can purchase it. Or I'll leave some links uh, to Amazon where you can purchase some of these as well. Um, and I'm going to enjoy my Christmas gift. Uh, for all of you out there, if I haven't mentioned it, you have a wonderful holiday. And guess what? I'll see you next time in the kitchen. Bye.